Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use Power Query in Excel to transpose columns. So please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already to get more videos like this. So first of all, what you need to do is you can select the <coughs> entire data set beforehand, or you can just go to the data tab. Then uh, from the get and transform data group select from table or range okay click on from table and range and uncheck the my table has headers checkbox as you need to transfer the entire rows to columns and column to rows okay now uh, you can select the you can select the data set using the upper arrow here then click on the downward arrow now click ok now this will load the power query see the table uh, earlier has been imported to the power query ok so the cells the month here are in rows and the stores are in columns what we need to do is make the e stores to rows and the months to columns okay so first of all you need to go to the transform tab then click on transport as soon as i do this see the e stores become the uh, rows and the months become the columns okay let me enlarge a bit to see the whole columns or you can also reduce the width here uh, it, I don't know it should become reduced anyway uh, maybe hand or something more okay so then the data has been transposed now what you need to do is go to the file tab then you can click on close and load to transfer it to new uh, sheet tab okay or if you need to uh, import the data <coughs> the transfer data to the existing uh, sheet then you need to click on close and load to and then select that extension okay so i will click close and load to uh, then uh, i want to import it as a table and then where do you want to put the data to the existing worksheet okay then you need to click the uh, upward arrow here and then select the destination for example i need to transfer in b11 okay b11 now click ok the query is loading and it's done see the data is transferred here the months are at the uh, top and the stores are at the left okay now you can just convert it to say range from the table design tab and then convert it to range again uh, then you can just remove this row you don't need the columns here uh, you could do that in the power query also anyway so control minus now you get the uh, table as required. If you need to uh, remove the formats, you can just uh, clear formats here. Okay. If you need to copy the color formatting, home tab, format paint tab. <coughs> okay. And then 
nice to Sales values. Okay, done. Okay, so this is how to use the Power Query to transfer column in Excel. Once again, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. See you at the next video.